All right, on Mark Reviews stuff, this time I wanted to review Special K Red Berries. Now, I consider myself a connoisseur of cereals because cereal is like probably my favorite food. So with that as, as the pretext for this, growing up Special K was always kind of synonymous with styrofoam or packing peanuts or something. It wasn't delicious and it, it never really filled you. It was insubstantial. And, you know, I, because of that, I haven't eaten Special K for a long, long time. But this kind intrigued me. It says it has real strawberries in it. And uh, Special K is not gluten-free. It's made with rice and wheat. So my kids have tried this already. They just have some. And the only way that you can get strawberries to have the same shelf life as your cereal is if they are freeze-dried. So I will... Uh, I'll show you visually here. It doesn't look super appetizing, right? So you have, I mean, it's kind of, on its own it's okay. It's a little bit tart. It doesn't taste quite like fresh strawberries would. And I don't know what kind of process Kellogg's has to go through to get their strawberries to all be uniformly red and then freeze dry them. I'm sure that they're picking them just before they're ripe and then they're like gassing them with stuff to make them ripe. These are unfounded allegations. So Kellogg's, if you're watching, let me know. Leave some comments in the section below. Let me know. How do you do this? How do you get your strawberries to be fresh like that? Or to at least be freeze-dried and have the appearance of being fresh. So, I don't know if you can see this here. It's a pretty generous, uh, you know, ratio of strawberries to the Special K. Special K itself has a touch of sweetness to it. So, you know what? I don't think this is a Special K of my childhood, but let's, let's test my hypothesis here. Yeah, that has sweetness in and of itself. And I wonder if that's to offset the uh, the tartness of these allegedly fresh and real strawberries. Okay, so I've added some milk here. And a plug for Meadow Gold too, I like their milk. All right. You know what? It's not half bad, but I think with the natural sweetness that comes in milk already and the sweetness that they have seemingly added to the Special K itself, it makes the strawberries taste even more tart. Like on its own, it was already kind of tart, but in the cereal, it's really tart. Like it tastes less like strawberries and more like, I don't know. More like a Granny Smith apple or something, like that level of tartness. You know, maybe it was just the piece I had the first time, because the second bite wasn't quite as bad. You know what? Kind of grows on you. Overall flavor is similar to like berry berry kicks. Tastes a little bit like oops all berries Captain Crunch too. So if you're looking for something that tastes like a heavily sugary cereal but doesn't have quite as much sugar, maybe it's a good alternative. Um, you can pick this up. This is the the two pack that you get. Not to be confused with two pot. It's the two pack you get from Costco. I just wanted to see some of the nutrition facts here. Yes, yeah, only nine grams of sugar in one cup. So it still has sugar in it, but nothing like Captain Crunch or the aforementioned Berry Berry Kicks. For what it's worth, I, I give it like a B minus. Not my favorite cereal, but it's pretty good. So if you haven't tried it, go check it out. And, uh, you know, give it a B minus. For what it's worth, there are cereals out there that are much better. Like a lot of cereals that are much better. Anyway, that'll do it for this Mark Reviews stuff. Subscribe to this channel. Let me know what other, you know, 
videos or products you'd like to see. Uh, I'd be happy to review any other cereals as well. I have opinions on them all. Alright, subscribe to this channel, let me know what you think.